Hello, hello. It is us again on Crick Buzz Live. And my tone might not give away the seriousness of this match, the excitement of this match, the do or die, or should we say the do and die. We'll get to that joke in just a second. Hello and welcome to Crick Buzz Live. I'm Gaurav Kapoor. I have with me Mr. Simon Dool and Mr. Mike and Gwon because we said foreign, foreigners love. We've got two of them here. <laughs> Hello. Gentlemen. Overseas signings. That's <laughs> You're the two yeah, overseas yeah, signings. That's yeah. it. What did yeah. you go for in the draft? Uh, I wasn't. Uh, I was, I was Quite a way down the bottom, actually. Yeah, yeah. The, the medium, slow, the medium <laughs> slow bowlers can they, can they go last in the draft? So just a uh, replacement. Yeah, yeah. So you came in late. So who got injured? Someone got injured for you. Yeah, someone just yeah. Uh, fell, yeah, fell I mean, down those steps. Fell past that table. The yeah. thing is, he's got one and a half knees right now. So well, that's more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the bionic one goes good. <laughs> the bionic that's the one. one goes, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> that's this one's just a half. <laughs> well, gentlemen, we're very happy to have you here, both of you, uh, along with your draft signing amount. We'll be getting a red, <laughs> a red table as well. So wow. therefore, that just quadruples straight away. But for these two teams today, they don't want to quadruple anything. They just want to get two points because mm. if they don't get him, oops, they're looking down the barrel of a gun. The Kolkata Knight Riders and the Rajasthan Royals playing today at uh, the Eden Gardens. Now, both teams have a lot of confidence because the Rajasthan Royals, what they did uh, in Mumbai, and for KKR, what they did in Indore, and boy, what they did in Indore. Yeah, Simon? Yeah. Michael, we spoke about mm. it a lot, but wow, 245. Some serious batting, wasn't it? I mean, that's uh, that's been the key for, for them winning, I think. When they put runs on the board, their bowling attack can kind of stifle teams. Um, with Rajasthan, I think it's just jo Joss Butler. Yeah. That's all it's been the last five games for them since they've moved them to the top. And I know Michael was a big fan of that right from the start of the tournament. They got it wrong. They finally got it right, and they're a chance now, which is... You know, something they weren't a chance for four games ago. So. It's, it's just, it's just well, it's just come too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that move to, to because put it's John. time for him to go, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's uh, it shows you the, the prominence of the IPL is that Josh Butler has five incredible games at the top of the order. Yeah, and you know what? Who comes calling? Test matches. Test matches come calling, say, excuse me, we'll have some of that, please. Mm. A lot of that, into five, if you could, please. Mm. So, Joss Butler, along with Ben Stokes. So, Rajasthan Royals always had a problem that Ben Stokes will be leaving when the England call-up comes, which means he'll miss the last league game as well as the possible playoffs. Mm. And now, with the England test squad announced, Hmm. Well, I, I know one man that'll be absolutely spitting feathers. That'll be Shane Warne. <laughs> yeah, <he'll> be, <laughs> He's star yeah. man. He'll have probably taken a phone call earlier this morning. It would have been from Joss Butler saying, Shane, can I just have a, a cup of coffee? I've got something to tell you. Yeah. Tonight is my last game for you because I'm going to get back to the UK <laughs> for a go. test match against Pakistan. Yeah, what? that's the test squad. Are you saying that Shane Warne uh, is not a fan of uh, the ECB? <laughs> No, he, he'll be delighted for Josh to yeah. get back into the team, but uh, he'll be very, very disappointed because, let's be honest, the last three games in particular, Josh Butler has won Fantastic. them. Well, he'll three be disappointed from Melbourne, though, because he's going back to Melbourne as well. Yeah. One, he's not staying either. He's yeah. actually he's he's going back home. a couple of nights yeah. ago, but he's he was meant to leave after Calcutta. Yeah, he was meant to leave after the Mumbai game the other night, but um, at about four in the morning when I was talking to him, yeah. uh, he said, well, no, apparently managers changed my ticket. Yeah. And uh, so now I'm not going till after the Kolkata game. But he's leaving anyway. So he'll be on the plane with Joss and with Ben Stokes. You actually look at that. So you've got Butler and Stokes who play the last game tonight. Yeah. yeah. You know, the net run rate is such an important factor. Mm. Rajasthan have got to win tonight and they've got to win well to make sure that that net root run rate yeah. is up. So potentially they may be able to lose that last game to sneak into the playoffs. Mm. But you think that they're going to have to win both. Let's have a look at the points table because there's going to be so much talk about it in this last week. We have no idea who the other two teams in the playoffs are going to be. Literally, Simon, we have no idea. No, it's good though, isn't it? I mean, a week ago or 10 days ago, we sat here and thought the last week of the tournament might be boring. Yeah. And and now it's it could come down to Chennai's last game against um, Delhi. Yeah. They have Kings that, 11 is their last game. Their last game is sorry. Kings 11. Kings 11's last yes. game. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, on I mean, Sunday. That, and Sunday, on Sunday in, uh, in Delhi, we've got Mumbai up there. It, yeah. It's, you know, it's just, it could come down to those last games on Saturday and Sunday so I think that's the good thing about it we sat here and thought it could be boring now it's going to be pretty exciting Sunrise is qualified probably guaranteed the top with one more win and CSK are you know in that one and two and three spot yeah so my call last night was that the last day's games are going yeah. to be knockouts for MI and Kings 11 even though they're not playing against each other yeah they're playing separate games 
that's going to be super interesting. Mm. Listen, the next few days is going to be absolute smasher right here. But if we just look at, we're just going to pull that points table up again because we've been talking about this 14 point scenario a lot. And now if you see that if there's KKR and RR, one of them will go to 14 today. And let's say they lose their next game. They stay at 14 and the team that loses today wins their next. They go to 14. In case there's a traffic jam at 14, look at the net run rates of both RCB and MI, both in the positive, which means teams, both these teams today are going, hey, listen, 14 might not be good enough for us, especially Rajasthan Royals. They're minus 0.3. Well, Rajasthan Royals the other night, they were m minus 0 0.45 yeah. going into that game. And they went from minus 0 0.45 to minus 0 0.34. Yeah. So they hardly moved. 0 0.9 was all they went up. Yeah. after a win in 17.5 overs. Mm. So two overs to spare, it really didn't move their run rate a lot. Yeah. RCB's moved enormously because of a win in, what, seven overs last yeah. night. But those are the sort of numbers you're looking at. You're looking at winning in 11, 12, 13 overs to actually get your run rate to a decent point. Yeah. But that's Four, where 14 is not going to be enough for, for yeah. Rajasthan Royals. They've, no, got, to no, they've, they've no. got to win the last Correct. two games. Yeah. Without also, do you think KKR missed a trick the other day? They got 245, but somehow they just couldn't sort of press their foot on the jugular mm. uh, with Kings Eleven, uh, right, who got to 220 then. Yeah, and, and also I think they've missed a trick by not doing the same thing tonight. You know, they've yeah. won the toss and decided to bowl first. You know, yeah. I'm surprised oh. at T20 cricket. You, you win the previous game, batting first, getting a monster of a total mm. on the deck, putting the opposition under pressure. You go to your home venue, the pitch looks a good one, you go, you know what, we'll have a ball first, we'll chase. That yeah. thought it might work, but mm. I'm always surprised you just don't keep going with the same. When it's working in T20 cricket, there's no point in kind of mixing around with it. Just keep going with what's uh, been have working. Have we seen for a forecast it. for Kolkata? Is there rain around? I it's mean, fine. We're, we're, there it's was fine. rain a little earlier in the day, perhaps just a bit of a drizzle, but it's fine. Because that can, that can happen in Kolkata quite regularly. Yeah. They do get a late night storm, a late night shower. So that may be in the thinking if there was rain around earlier in the day. Sometimes it starts... Day starts with rain, finishes with a They also won rain, four so. of their six games chasing. Mm. So maybe that plays in their mind as well. Also, yeah. they could be it could be a countermeasure to Joss Butler. Mm. You're saying, oh, does, don't, don't yeah, know what we we'll get, and he's going to go crazy. His last yeah. game before he gets on the plane, let me help us out. They've also gone pace, haven't they? They've, I mean, Chola are out with a side strain, but they've yeah. got Mavi back. So they've yeah. gone like pace Mavi. for a spin. Yeah. Mm. I like the youngster. Or so there you go, those gas. are the changes. Uh, you've got, sorry, just the one change, not plural, singular, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. And that means Shiva Mavi is coming for Piyush Chavla, which means it's not a like-for-like -like replacement. They've taken out a leggy, they've put in a pacer. But, you know, if you look at the seam attack, it's Prasid Krishna, Shiva Mavi, Javon Searles, which means that the three of them collectively have lived as many days as Sunil Narayan has bowled balls in his career. <laughs> <laughs> They're all young. Dre Russ is always the key, isn't he? Andre Russell. Yeah. Can he bowl four overs? Possibly not. He's good for two overs. Can he stay in one piece? Well, that's it. I mean, that's, that's the key for them. And it has been the whole tournament, really. Yeah. If he's fit or half fit, yeah. good enough to bowl two overs for them. It just gives them those options around the other bowlers if a Marvi or if a Krishnan goes for too many runs. But, um, you know, he's got to be he's got to be good for two, two at least. So one change for KKR and for Rajasthan Royals, uh, no changes. I mean, three <laughs> changes, which for them is equal to no changes, because that's pretty much standard operating procedure for them. They've made the three changes today. One comes as no surprise. Mm. There is obviously uh, uh, Darcy Short who goes out. Now, I, I guess then you may, two are no surprise because then you've got to drop, uh, you know, you've got to drop Dhaval Kulkarni Anurit comes in. That's a like yeah. for like. But to get Ish Sodhi back in, Right, you drop an Indian bowler, yeah, Shreyas Gopal, Gopal out. goes out, mm. and Rahul Tripathi has to come in because with Darcy short gone, you need an Indian batsman. So we predicted pretty much two changes yeah, yesterday. I, I think Tripathi will open the batting. I think Still no Ajinkya? No, I think he'll... The guy doesn't three. catch think, a break, does he? I think Sanju will be four, I think Stokes will be five. The reason being, that Butler's now going. He's going back, so they yeah. need to find an opening batsman for the last game, potentially the playoffs. Yeah. So but I think Tripathi will open the batting tonight. And Rahane will go to the top. When, when, they when go, Stokes, when, when Butler goes, yeah, and no, Stokes right. goes, so Rahani, because he's so versatile, he'll go to the top of the order after Butler's gone. But tonight, Tripathi will go to the top of the order. And the, the thing with um, Rajasthan, I mean, East Sodhi back is a, is a good one, but just, I mean, they're, they're relying so heavily on on Butler at the top and Archer with the ball. They've yeah. got to find some other contributors. If they once those guys are gone, Stokes was good the other night, but once those guys are gone. Gee, be who, who wins them a game? Mm. That's, their, that's their massive issue. So who Rahul Tripathi last year when he was turning out for uh, the Pune team yep. at Eden Gardens got 87. They were the opening partnership mm -hmm. there as well. Rahane and Tripathi worked 
for Pune yeah. when they reached the final last year. Uh, so, but that's why it was a surprise at the start of the tournament. But Trapada was used in the middle yeah. of the order. Yeah. He was used as the uh, the finisher. Mm. Yeah, I never get the finisher in T20. You, you, no. you get your best players in at the top of the order to face as many balls as they possibly can. You know, Josh Butler's been a finisher in the last two games because he's faced all the balls. He's yeah. been 94, 95 yeah. not out. You know, I think it's very difficult for those that come in at six and seven to be known as the finishers in, in yeah. T20 cricket. Give them what, fifteen balls, ten yeah. balls. Well, you know, quality like, players let's need count as many the balls as possible. Yeah. The Royals, let's count the openers. The traffic jam at the top. They had Darcy Short, Ajinkya Rahane, Rahul Tripathi, Joss Butler. Mm. Then they got Ben Stokes, Stokes to open. Yeah. Stokes. So yeah. they've just they've just got too many people who are openers. Now the, the, this will not come out of my mouth very very often, but I did feel sorry for Darcy Short the other night. Yeah. Feeling sorry for an Australian from a New Zealand point of view is very, yeah. very rare. There's no one feeling sorry for Australia but, on this <laughs> battle, but he right? was, <laughs> But he was, he was crook as a dog. He hadn't eaten for yeah. 30 hours. He was throwing up. Why didn't they play him then? Because Ish Sodi's knee was gone. His, Ish Sodi's knee was gone the, the game before oh. he dived. So I'm not sure whether he knew that, but he dived in uh, Jaipur, hurt his knee. I saw him at the airport. It was swollen. It was like the size of a rugby ball, so he was... He was Pretty much gone for that game, yeah. and then they they should have bought class in. Yeah, class yeah. should have put in the middle. Though. They should have bought class in and gone with Tripathi maybe at the top and bought or Klassen, Rahani to open or Rahani to open and bought class into the middle. But Darcy Short was he was out on his feet, could not hardly walk, let well, alone run. So did his knee suddenly better two days later. Well, I, the ice and I don't know. I don't Plus know. But massive tablets. Well, that's it. Yeah, it's four days, isn't it? It's four days between because they've had a tough they've had a tough go. Game travel, game yeah, travel, game. Yeah. So they you know three and five days. For Rajasthan is and a, the knee is reacts road. badly to air pressure, doesn't it? People don't realise this, but yeah. it really does react no, they badly. They made to him air drive pressure. from Jaipur to Mumbai. Jaipur to Mumbai, yeah. cycle. What? Which is why he hadn't eaten in 30 hours. I think he took a rickshaw. <laughs> <laughs> a tuk -tuk. <laughs> That's another thing. You realise that a lot of people call the auto rickshaw the tuk tuk. No, it's an auto. Auto. You have to call it an auto. That's right. That's what it is. Well, what is a tuk tuk? A, a tuk tuk is what they have in uh, Bangkok. Okay. Those are motorcycle rickshaws. Right. Those so it's an auto, tuk -tuks. is it? It's an auto. Auto. Here you oh, call them auto. Or oh, the cool kids, yeah. like myself, we call them ricks. Ricks. Like a rickshaw, a rick. rick. Ah, okay. So I'm going to grab a rick. Rickies. Right. I remember that. Yeah. When I'm ordering my next youth. auto. Youth. <laughs> We're all the youth. Well, so uh, just a quick update. Kolkata Knight Riders have won the toss. Dinesh Karthik won the toss. Has told uh, Ajinkya Rahane to go in and bat. So they're going to bat. Ajinkya Rahane is not going to pad up immediately because the poor guy, they never let him open. So it's probably going to be Rahul Tripathi and Joss Butler. We shall find out shortly. But let's look at the 14-point scenario. Now, 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 disclaimer. Yesterday we showed you a 14, a 16, a 18, a 27, a 4, the prime numbers, Fibonacci sequence. We showed you everything yesterday. We're just going to stick to the 14-point sequence today mm. because we were really confused, Michael. He couldn't sleep till 4 a.m. because there were numbers spinning in his head. <laughs> so we're going to show you just the 14-point scenario because it's so unique. So we have two teams qualified. One team's gone home from the dance. Mm. You've got five and they could potentially. And if you look at it, none of this seems really outlandish. None of the scenarios seem particularly outlandish. Oh, uh, RCB have found some form, and if Coley and and uh, AB fire and Tim Southey's bowling well, then they they can beat Sunrisers. They can beat Rajasthan. There's no issue with that. So that can happen. We we haven't told you Michael's call from last night. Michael's call last night was if RCB qualifies, mm. they're going to win the title because they'll be steamrolling everyone. I, 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 Big call, huh? Finally, if they sneak, if they sneak the into fourth spot from yeah. a week ago. Yep. Yeah. With all those players and those two superstars, yeah. you ain't you ain't gonna want to face them. <laughs> one, only one team's ever won from fourth, and that was before the McIntyre system was used as well. So yeah. the McIntyre system is the one place two, three place four, the and then playoffs. the progress. Yeah. Yeah. The only team that ever that won from fourth. I'll tell you was uh, Adam Gilchrist with Deccan Chargers Correct. when they beat the Delhi Daredevils when he scored 87 of 30 something. Correct on that one day, which is probably the reason why the playoffs came into. But that was a one place four, two one place four, three. Yeah. And four went straight to the final and won it. That was the year that Dick and Chargers won it. So that's the only team. So under the McIntyre system or this new system, um, no team has come Who's from fourth. Who's McIntyre? Australian. So they use it for the rugby oh, league. Not the spin, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's the um, McIntyre system comes about from a rugby league tournament. Yeah. Um, the NRL in in Australia. That's the scenario they use. 
there. So Paul McIntyre did not come up with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not anything. He had nothing to do with the rugby. No, he did not. So we, do we go back to the 14-point scenario now? Sorry, I didn't let's, mean that. Let's go to interrupt. Once again, with RCB, <laughs> you're thinking that they beat SRH and RR. Simon says, not a problem. They could. Mm. Am I... Uh, you'd think they could beat DD, of course, if they're on a roll. Kings 11, wheels have fallen off mm. completely. You don't know what's going on there. Uh, you have Rajasthan to beat KKR today, and then RCB beats them. Yeah. KKR, today's game, done. They lose it. They have to beat SRH then to get to 14. Seems like a mountain to climb, but it's possible. And with Kings 11, you're saying they're playing MI at the Wankade, right? That's tough. That's tomorrow. That's always a tough game mm. to play, irrespective of the last result. And then for them to beat CSK in Pune, and that that's the only thing that looks slightly improbable. Well, you, you look at yeah. the, the Mumbai Indies, I know they lost the other night, but they've got probably the best two games to play. Yeah, correct. Kings 11, who, well, they, they just look like they've, uh, they've gone. Yeah. They yeah. look like they've just come, become dismantled. And, and Delhi Daredevils, you know, they've yeah. had a poor tournament. I'm sure they'll play a few more kids as well, which would be great experience for them. But you'd, you'd fancy your chances of beating them. So you'd, you'd think that Mumbai will win those last two games. And they have That a looks really the easier run. Yeah. If you wanted to run, you look at Mumbai and you think with their team and their power, that looks the easier run for, for yeah. any of them. And, uh, and their run rate's already great. Great net run rate, yeah. obviously. So that works in their advantage. Mm. Do we have a simplified bit of this graphic as well? Do we have something? Do we? <laughs> Ajit, put it out. He's painted something. He's painted, he's made some drawings, the little child. No, he hasn't. Uh, so there you go. The key updates are five teams can mm. finish with 14 points. The teams yet to qualify, uh, that's MI and RCB, in that 14-point scramble actually have the best net run rate, so yeah. they could go through. 16 points then becomes enough to seal a playoff spot, but only one of KKR or RR. So in that five-point scramble, actually only one team can reach 16. And then we, no, three teams can, sorry, finish with 16. Only one of the teams today can finish yeah. with 16. And of course, SRH are guaranteed of a top two finish, which mm. means they will be playing that first qualifier comes Mumbai, uh, come they Tuesday well, they in They might as well just get themselves here now. Get themselves to Mumbai, have a relaxing have few have days, a get ready. They still have to play a couple of games. Yeah, just come yeah, here, just play a bit of golf. Use the B team. Use yeah. the B team. Be they actually have a good B team because <laughs> they're the only ones in the auction who made a like to like yes. sort of buy and yeah. backups for all of them. Oh, that's clever. Let's mm. do it, yeah. Tom Moody for you. Very strategic. Yeah. Tom Moody could play, Murli could still play. I'm sure he could turn a few in Hyderabad. <laughs> <Murli> <laughs> BBS Lakshman could get a few off. <laughs> yeah. Lakshman could work a couple from outside off through mid-wicket. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Fine like. <laughs> <laughs> he really could. All right, so that's what's happening. And obviously, we, you just can't predict it. It's become that that on, on a Tuesday with, you know, just five days or six days of cricket left in the league stage, uh, league stage you still can't call who it's going to be for the other two teams. But... I'm going to ask both Simon and Michael to hazard a guess if they would like or who they fancy, who they think on current form is your pick for the other two teams. Until I heard the news about Joss Butler, I thought Rajasthan were on a bit of a roll. Yeah. And, and with Jofra Archer going well and Joss Butler batting well, you had to figure that Stokes would win them a game at some stage because he's that good a player. So they would have been my team, one of my teams, but not now. Not now they've got to play that last game without Butler, without Stokes. I don't, I don't see it happening. They yeah. could win tonight, but I don't see it And who's that through. game against? We've got the remaining uh, yeah, the games last one, I, I can teams. tell you. Uh, they yes. play I've got it RCB. for you, Simon. RCB. RCB. I have it for oh, you. Oh, very good. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. They play RCB in yeah. Jaipur. So they're playing them at home. Slight advantage, but without Stokes and Butler. Mm. So that's a big disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, and then you have uh, tomorrow's the big game as well. Mm -hmm. You really want to see that. You want Kings Eleven Punjab to just wake up, Simon. What's going on with them? Well, I mean, Gail was... Great at the start, won them those three games. I think he's fallen off the radar. KL is the only batsman. They've got not much out of Karan Nair. Um, Stoinis Finch, just not Ryan doing... Agarwal. Agarwal, they're not doing the job for them there. Uh, their bowling is, is OK, but it did concede 245 and the other Mujib's night. Mujib's injured. Mujib's injured. Um, so they, yeah. yeah, as I say, the wheels are falling off them. I mean, they're getting nothing. Again, it's the overseas guys. Outside of Gale in those three games, they've got nothing out of their overseas players apart from Majib with the ball. So the batting from the overseas stars has been awful. Yeah, yeah. their engine room's been poor, hasn't mm. it? The mm. engine room, that middle order. I, I fancy Mumbai. Mumbai yeah. to win those last two games. Mm. And I've got a sneak suspicion about KKR. Yeah. I think KKR and Mumbai. I think KKR might win tonight. Mm. 
I just think the, the butler train, which has been steamrolling mm -hmm. ahead, he, he, he has to come to a station eventually. Yeah. <laughs> he has to come to a station. Well, he will. He'll be coming to the station of um, Heathrow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he will be going that's straight that's Heathrow that's Express. That's, yeah, that's, that's where Roger Stein right. just, right. just go bang and hits Heathrow yeah. and that's it. Thanks very much. Correct. <laughs> and, it, it, and it's when he gets to that station, it's whether a few of his teammates can jump on and just help out. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I think they'll need that tonight. Mm. He, he can't just, I mean, say can't. He, he can because he's that good. But, you know, the kind of common denominator of T20 cricket yeah. takes that you can't just keep getting 94 not out, 95 not out. So you what has he got? Let's show you what he's got yeah. because mm -hmm. you, we are all Joss Butler fans and uh, as is the ECB in Test Cricket now. Uh, so there you go. Yeah. This is what, this is, you were talking about his last five games and there you go, Michael. I mean, Midas stature, well, team man of the match yeah, awards. He likes May, doesn't he? Mm. Yeah. He's a bit like Mumbai Indians. Yeah, he yeah. is. He because he was Mumbai in Mumbai Indians. Indians. Correct. He's just got that bug of He's energy carrying that May fever with him, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. and he's going to play in a test match in May as well. So, yeah, there he scores. Fantastic. You know, particularly the last two games, you know, must, must win games and he's just played with control, finesse, composure, power. You know, he's got that, that look in his eye. He's got that steel in his eye that you desperately need when you're playing at the highest level. There you he's go. got almost half yeah, the yeah. runs for he's, the team. He's half the team, isn't he? Yeah. He is literally half the team with those stats. Wow. That's just spectacular. Look at it. Mm. Man, that's the kind of form. Who'd you bowl against him? Did you put Mavi in straight away? Uh, yep, I put Mavi in straight away. The thing with, thing with Butler is you cannot give him any room at all. So I, I, you're cramping him up. So Mavi, to me, is a good option with that mm. ball swinging in, yep. into the hips. And, and have your uh, your deep square leg, and and you finally back. I, I wouldn't worry about him backing away and doing that early on because he's every chance of nicking one or just getting that wrong. So I'd be bowling Marvi definitely up front to him, and new ball. I mean, I think Mumbai had an opportunity the other night with when um, Marakande came on. He swept that one and just about carried to short square leg. Hmm. Uh, so I'd maybe even look at Narayan. Yeah, yeah, and, and also Krunal Pandya. Krunal Pandya the other day just yeah, really that was the only chance. Was, sorry, it was Pan Krunal Pandya. Krunal Pandya yeah, squared him up and it yeah. went to the yes. keeper. And I think yeah. Krunal Pandya was the was the square leg was, catch as well, which was yes, on one it was. bounce. You're right. It was just yeah, yeah one yeah, hand. I, one I, hand I think it was Markande catching it perhaps. I'd go aggressive with him. Yeah, Mavi, go aggressive, but I'd have a different. I have a, a, a quite a wide third man and a deep square leg so that I find leg up yeah. into the circle because if you're just putting two out on the leg side it's almost telling him that mm. he's going to be around the straight region I still want to have the option of potentially throwing one wide if he gives himself a little bit of space so I'd have that third man quite wide I've, I've seen him get caught quite a few times yeah. down there can you bowl a short one can you bowl the bouncer without the fine leg though or do you just have that man that's sort of a bit square, behind about 10 yards yeah, behind okay, square yeah. for the you know the good yeah, don't mind that because yeah. I, I want to bowl short at him yeah. as well I want to get the odd one through here you know just up in the boardroom so you've a couple got, of times. So you've got, you said third man. Third and man and sort square of leg out, they're the two yeah. out in the first mm. six. Yeah. And go aggressive. Yeah. Go really aggressive yeah. and, and get but Which means if you mess that length up, he's essentially, because... <laughs> yeah, well, he's not going to yeah. get much pitched up. Yeah. Mine. It's, it's at the hip or it's at the head, basically. He's not going to get much pitched up. You've got to, the length that is, is the fullest length is the one that's going to hit him. I always say inside the, the right knee of the right yeah. hander. Just yeah. like the, the inner thigh. You know that mm. ball that used to yeah. crack on the inside mm. thigh, used yeah. to kill with, or miss the inside thigh, that yeah. slap on the thigh. Yeah. That's the fullest that you want to go to someone like Josh Butler, really. Yeah. Uh, Sunil Narayan, of course, would you bowl him from the other end? Because, I mean, Sunil Narayan, Magic, KKR, these all words that go together in the mm. same sentence. Yeah. Uh, but Josh Butler, uh, he's not like most of the other uh, imports who sort of get frazzled by the yeah. spin. He doesn't. I'd, I'd give him an over. I'd give Sunil Narayan one over. Um, and maybe if you wanted, if, if Russell's 100% fit, let him steam in with yeah. that new ball as well. Yeah. Just, just for one. But... You know, you don't need too much spin in that first six because the, the ball's skidding on. You want Butler to face the spin when it might turn, if so. But the, the fact they've gone with Marvi, uh, I know Piyush is injured, but the fact they've gone with Marvi and not another spin option tells me that the wicket might be pretty good for a bit of seam bowling. The, the key well. matchups is always, you know, looking at the opposing player who's in form. You know, and, mm. and, and the way I, I try and simplify everything in cricket, Butler is the key player. So I'd be saying, right, who's our key, key bowler? Bowlers. Mm. And just put your two key bowlers on straight away to their key batsman. You know he's coming out first, so you don't have to try and work out when he's going to come in. You know, if someone's at four and is in key form, as a captain, you have to start thinking, right, I've got to save a couple of overs yeah. of X because he might come in in the sixth over, the eighth over, the twelfth over. You're never too sure when a batsman's mm. going to come in in that middle region. But when you know someone's opening, he is the key player. Put your best two bowlers yeah. on. So the focus is all going to be on Joss Butler, and on the other side, Tripathi is going to get a half century <laughs> of 30 balls. That's Probably. That's what's going to happen. All right, listen, we got to go right now, but we've got two pieces of business left. One, of course, the joy factor question. He usually likes to tweak it a bit when there's a Kolkata match. Let's see what he's done today. 
here it is the joy factor for this Tuesday his only international wicket is Mohammad Usman his first and so far only list a century was for a Bangladesh team and he holds a particular Champions League record that he set in his debut Champions League season name this current IPL cricketer who was worth a lot of money in the auction not so long ago Lordy 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 so his only international wicket is Mohammad Usman only list a century was for a Bangladesh team yeah, it was for or against. It was for a Bangladesh team. Okay. And he holds a particular Champions League record that he set in his debut CLT20 season. Mm. He was worth a lot. Of I'm thinking that, that the last one there is worth something. That clue is worth something. Because he was worth a lot of money in the auction not so long ago. Which means that currently he's not worth a lot of money with the current auction because the current auction was eight weeks so that's not mm. 12 weeks ago so that's not I reckon it's the recent auction you think it's the recent one yep. yeah I think it's one you think it's the last one I think it's one before a previous one okay I think when Joy does these not so mm. long have ago you got, have you usually got an I got no idea <laughs> I haven't no. No. I'm, no? I'm afraid to say I don't even know I'll have to think over my eyes. risotto yeah <laughs> <laughs> Simon and Michael love their risotto. They <laughs> really do. But uh, I'm going to make them earn it today. I'm only going to give it to them after the half time if they predict the score correct. It has been locked away with the little red tables. <laughs> so come on. We've got Rajasthan Royals batting first. Last game for Ben Stokes and Joss Butler. Eden Gardens. Where do you think Rajasthan Royals is going to add up? Going big. 187. 187. Michael? Mm. 171. 171, 187. Okay. I'm going to sit smack in the You middle. always go in the middle. It, I mean, not, it shouldn't even be a surprise that but, you go in the middle. But it was 82 yesterday. yesterday. I said 82, 82, 82 you did for not. Kings 11 Punjab yeah. yesterday. You did not. I, I wanted said to see if we were awake. He said 182, but he came out with 82. <laughs> no, I said 82 as a joke. <laughs> yeah. But, well, it so happened that there was a bigger joke happening in reality <laughs> than I could ever come up with. And they went Brilliant. to 88. So Brilliant. people have accused me from doing everything from Nostradamus uh -huh. to actually knowing what's going on Correct, yeah. on the cricket field no this is everything is, everything around here is red yeah there's a conspiracy you know what's going on with the team in red the reason why I don't want to give this to you is because it helps me see the future it really does <laughs> and the future holds well there's no red table today there's no uh, red table today but I will tell you that you can get our appreciation and our salute and our respect if you send us the answer to that question, it's a long question, there's some clues in there. Crick Buzz Live, that's the hashtag you need to use when you send us uh, uh, your tweets as the replies. I'm going with 180, so we got 171, 180, 187. It's time for some risotto now. We will see you in uh, 90 minutes. Mamma mia! Yeah. <laughs>